Hello. Um, I watched... No, that's not how I want to start this video. I'm just going to take another sip and think about what I want to say. Fun fact, my mom actually made tea like an hour ago and I forgot that she made tea so I turned cold and now I have another cup of tea which is still kind of hot but still kind of lukewarm because I, again, I forgot about the tea. But that's very much besides the point. So in two days I'm going on vacation and it turns out it's going to be a sunny vacation. It's going to be very warm out there so I want to look good in my bikini. How am I going to look good in my bikini? If I have shaved in the bikini area because otherwise I don't feel comfortable. Blah, blah, blah. So you get the deal, okay? You get the gist. I want to uh, do hair removal. Usually I shave because I think waxing is very scary. It seems painful. I really don't feel like putting myself in the position to get very hurt. I have avoided it. Even though I know waxing is better, but I was just very scared. So I decided like a week ago, two weeks ago, that I wanted to wax for the next vacation instead of shave down there because the shaving I did last time gave me all these bumps and shit. And I was like, you know what? waxing we're going to wax so i have watched exactly one video about how to wax the bikini area and i'm just going to take that and i'm just going to do it because i definitely do not have the patience or the attention span to watch another video because this one already took 28 minutes let me show you what i got to wax myself okay Okay, so I've got this. Um, it's sugar wax. En suivant les précautions d'emploi, décidez de la façon dont vous allez réchauffer la cire ou, ou la cire. So I hope that makes sense. Let me read it and then I'll talk to you about what I'm going to do, okay? Give me a second. So basically what we're going to have to do, we're going to warm up this stuff, which makes a lot of sense, you know? In the... I was going to say magnetron, but that's not an English word. We're going to warm it up in the microwave or in hot water, but I know myself, I'm going to choose the microwave. But what did I say? Like 40 seconds? I forgot already where it is. And then we are going to have to apply it to the skin like you could expect where you're waxing your body. <laughs> we have to follow the way the hair grows because otherwise it's going, I don't know, it gets, I don't know. I have no clue why. We just have to do it. And then we have to pull against the direction your hair grows. Let's just do an unboxing, okay? I already opened the box, but we're going to do it anyway. So we have this, this lovely box. And in there, we find the spatula. And there's something with this blue part about saying it's for the bikini area. Which I don't understand why only the blue part is for your bikini area. I, I do not understand. Well, you know what? We're, going to, we're just going to roll with it. Then we have these things, the strips. You have a lot of them and then you can use them again, they said. You can use them twice after you've already used them with wax. And then we have the little thing with the wax. What? What the fuck? Look at this. <laughs> I do not think this is what's supposed to happen. How do I get this in the thing? Where do I put, where do I put this? I have not thought about this. So we have this thing full of wax now. Okay, so we have that and I also got some extra strips for if we run out of them. I'm trying to unpack them right now, look. No, there's already wax on the- I'm so dumb. These are just times that I wish that my brain would just be there for me when I need it instead of making me buy stuff that doesn't make sense. Now we do have like stuff to put on it after we wax. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, okay, so let's warm up the wax and let's do this. Okay, I'm kind of excited, I'm really scared, but also, also kind of excited, so let's do it. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom. Oh, my tea, my tea. Oh, I forgot about my tea again, but it's here now. So I'm in my bathroom right now. This is the stuff. I put it in for 10 extra seconds and now it's really fucking hot. I also brought some cookies with me just because I know I'm going to suffer. So I might as well eat some cookies, you know. And well, I'm just going to wait now and we're going to wax in a bit. So prepare to suffer, I guess. Okay, so we're back and I think the wax is a good temperature right now. I have also decided that I'm going to watch RuPaul's Drag Race season 13 when I'm doing this because I need something to distract me for the pain. So I'm going to, I wanted to show you, but I'm not going to do that because I'm naked here, okay? So I'm taking a bit on the blue end of this thing. I, I was so fucking scared right now. And then we're putting it on. Oh, that's hot. That's really hot. That's really hot. In the direction of the hair growth. We're going to put the strap on it. Not the strap really, but the thing. Okay, the thing is on it now. 
I'm starting to hate this idea so much, but I, I literally can't go back now. I literally can't. So I think we're gonna pull it up. I think we're gonna do it. Three, two, Woohoo! That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Oh my goodness, that, that was not as bad as I thought it would be. Whew. Thank you to my nerves that made me think that everything is 10 times worse than it actually is because now it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Whew. I will not show you because it's actually disgusting what this thing took off, took off of me. Actually, it took away all of the hairs that I wanted to take away. I think we're just going to have to move on. I am going to put on my RuPaul's Drag Race now. We're just going to go to the second thing. The video that I watched, the girl in there said you should start from the back if you do Brazilian, but I am going to ignore the only advice I've been giving by the internet by just starting at the front, you know? Like the good old Virgo moon that I am. Okay, so we're gonna do the second strip. I am, again, so fucking nervous. Even though it wasn't that bad the first time, I am so fucking nervous. These are a lot of hairs. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, I think this is enough hair. I did like quite a bit of hair. I think this is enough. The second strap is on my skin now. <sighs> I'm just as nervous as the first time. Even though the first time wasn't as bad, I am so fucking scared right now. Also, hi dad, I know you're watching. Welcome to the video. <laughs> you didn't think you would actually think I would do something like this on the internet, did you? Three, two, one. which is great, so love that for me. I've taken you along the first two strips. I will take you along further, but now I will probably just do fragmented. We're now kind of doing the sides and the front, just so you know. See you in a bit, when probably I am screaming in pain, and you will see that in a clip, you know? Because as a lovely editor I am, I am only going to select the clips where I am in pain, probably. So, I love that for me. This thing is so fucking sticky. Everything here is gonna get, be covered in wax by the end of this. Um, this is my third time I did today. Oh, this is my fourth. Oh, girl. Put some face in your walk. Let's go. Let's go, whole body talk. That's okay. Oh, cute here. Now, I'll never tell how looked to you as it fell, and now you're in my way. Where you think you're going, baby? Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. Oh, you call me, baby. I'm so, so baby boy. Oh, oh, oh. Apply, Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics. French prize of $100,000. May the best woman, best woman. strap didn't fully take off all the wax so now there's still wax on my body and i believe you can't really do the same area twice instead of a box that's a minor setback okay an inconvenience that we have to work over but i think we can do it i think i am gonna wax it again which is not right now i'm just gonna let my skin rest a little bit and i'm gonna take the wax off and then i am going to wax it again in a bit so yeah I went to reheat this because I noticed it was getting a bit more, you know, it wasn't as flick. I want to say fluid and liquid, so I said liquid, but I mean, it wasn't as liquid as it should be. So I reheated it and I also got two more cookies because I thought I deserved it. So we are on to round two right now. We already covered quite a bit of ground. I'm going to wax the outside parts, which you can see from my bikini and stuff, but I am going to shave the rest. Because shaving is a little bit more safe for like the labia and all that stuff. I'm not going to wax that because that is really scary to me. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. We've used three strips quite efficiently if I do say so myself. I think I'm going to make it, so let's just keep going, you know? Why are you here, you may wonder? Well, I am going to wax with my leg up the sink or something like that. So yeah, I have changed positions. So you are changing positions as well. So we're just gonna keep on going. 
Okay, this is a detail you do not want to hear, but I am going to tell you anyways. I am on my period. It's one of my last days on my period. So I thought nothing is going to happen, right? I am not bleeding that much anymore, so I'm going to be fine. But uh, when I was just trying to wax, some blood came out as well, which is a raunchy detail that you probably do not want to. But I'm going to share with you anyways. Um, and I'm scared now because I thought I was done bleeding, but I'm not apparently. Anyways, I do notice like the more you get to the back, uh, where, because I'm working from the front to the back, the less it hurts. Because I don't know, maybe the front is a lot more sensitive, but the back hurts a lot less, I feel like. My ring light just fell. What, what the fuck? There's a strip attached to my vagina. How am I? Okay, so update. I think I did most of what I could do. Um, and I am going to wash myself. I mean, because I'm very sticky right now. So I'm just going to wash it with some water and see what hairs remain. And maybe I'm going to go over those again, those areas. Or I'm going to, because I have grabbed this thing. Maybe I am going to just take them out one by one if there are not a lot of hairs there. Okay, so I've washed myself off and I have noticed that a little bit of some weird areas where not all the hairs came off. I wish I could show you, but I'm not gonna do that. Like some areas I'm gonna wax, but some areas I'm not gonna wax. I've also not even finished the first episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. I feel like this strip is gonna hurt. Okay, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Whew. I wanna say that wasn't that bad, but my, I, I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay, three, two, one. But when I tell you that doing this with the tweezers hurts more than doing it with the wax strips, it is true, okay? The wax strips hurt less. Okay, hi. We're still in the bathroom. We're still here. Um, I'm finished. Um, I'm definitely a bit bald right now. <laughs> My bikini area is very red right now. What did I expect? I literally pulled hairs out of my skin. So if it would have been annoyed after that, I, yeah, I would be kind of surprised, honestly. It wasn't that painful. I'm telling you, it wasn't really that painful, but let's just say I wouldn't like any more of it right now. The thing that I did not expect was that I love bruises. No, not a lot. Like a just some bruises maybe the internet knows the answer okay so it says clients with more sensitive skin or those on certain types of medication are more prone to experiencing bruising during a wax any bruising will usually clear up after a couple of days i will check in with you once i've cleaned this mess up because it's very messy here right now bye hello we moved out of my bathroom. We're back in my room. I looked up some things we had I had to do for aftercare and I found a video of an esthetician talking about what you should do and what you should not do. She was like, you shouldn't put moisture on it for about a day. And then I watched another video of a girl who is not an esthetician telling me that I should put some sort of moisture on it in the form of aloe vera. And I did that. It is a bit red right now. There are a lot of red dots where the hair follicles are, I feel like. And I hope they are going to be gone the day after tomorrow because then I'm going on vacation. And if it's not gone, then this defeats the whole purpose of having like visible razor bums or razor burn because now I have wax burn and I don't know what that is and I'm gonna try to get rid of it but I don't know how um so anyways I'll see you in a bit in the next clip I don't know where the next clip is going to be but I'll see you then